Oh no, now I have no blinkers. Oh, it works! Okay, so if I'm turning right, the blinker for me actually works. But if I go left, I just get rapid fire noise and it doesn't actually turn on the blinker. Um, I've learned that if I actually hold down everything correctly, then the blinker does work, but that's still not every single time. Um, I'm just getting pretty good at it. But anyway, now that you've seen the problem, I'm going to disconnect the ground from the battery and we'll get started. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and take off these. Here. one on this side that's the same. There's two screws there. And I believe there's one underneath here. Yes, there it is. Alright, now that I have all the screws out, I'm just going to pull down on this bottom part. And for me, that's all it took. It's just pulling down on it a little bit. And the whole bottom slides out. Um, pretty easily, really. It's like there's one tab over by the ignition, but really it just, with pulling it straight down, it just came right out. Now for the top, just a screw right here by the ignition. All right, take the top off. I'm gonna lower the sky, and then there's a secure mount right in the middle there. Got out now, but uh, it was kind of making it tough to get that out. And really, as much as I can raise it up like this, that's all we need. At that point, I could should now be able to access these two screws and pull this whole unit out. So I think we're set as far as the top goes. So we'll just leave it resting, kind of like that. There we go. That should be perfect. All right, so this is that secure mount that's kind of down in there. It's down in there a little ways. This might not be showing you real well, but anyway, it's down in there. And it just slid down into, I don't know if you can see it in there, but um, there is a hole down in there that it slid down into. So that's what was holding that, that top piece on uh, pretty tightly, so. All right, for this part, we'll, uh... those two screws off there and then there's a electrical part here that we need to undo so I should be able to just push in here with my thumb and pull down I should have done that before I screwed it there we go that's out and Bump it up against, oh, I'm bumping against that guy. There we go. And it's out. How about that? Now that we've cleaned that off, um, you can kind of see on this, this end here, there's uh, two little clips here. So I think that's how this is going to come off. So we're just going to gently gonna break them. Hmm. 
Maybe there's more to it. Oh, and then on this end, it looks like there's a little couple little clips here too. Grab my screwdriver. back on this one again. There we go. So, there was a point here, a point here, and then on this side there was two down, and I missed this one, but there's a plastic one that you have to pull this other direction to come back up. And then that's how that guy comes off. Okay, I had to get a smaller bit for the screw here. And there's again these two guys over here. That needs to come off of. There we go. So this is what everybody was talking about online. This is all messed up and this is all messed up in here. And if you look this bottom section, it might actually not be that it's worn down as much as I thought it was going to be, but more of the fact that it's just covered in goop. So we'll see. We'll clean this up. All right, I think those are shined up all right. So I think I got entirely too much solder on there. So that was perhaps, uh, this first one was perhaps uh, what not to do because I got way too much solder on there, so I don't know. But um, maybe I'll sand these down a little bit and just make sure that they're nice and smooth and that uh, this little guy will slide over it nice and smoothly. I don't know, it seems not so bad. So put some grease on there.
I have too much grease. We'll find out. that back on there. We just have to put the cap back on. And the cap I believe went yep, right there. Alright. Now we're ready to put it back together. So there we go. Okay, and here's the moment of truth. Got everything hooked back up and let's see. Oh no, now I have no blinkers. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I know what I did. I forgot to connect the electric. So don't forget to uh, plug this back in as I just did. <laughs> okay, moment of truth I failed, but uh, can I redeem myself on try two? Oh, it works! Brights work, lights work. Oh, look at that! Ha <laughs> ha! Great! If you found this video helpful, uh, please do visit the description below. There's some links to the videos of people that actually figured out how to do this fix. So go over there and definitely give them a like and tell them thanks. Um, I just thought I would uh, take it all and put it in one video so that you didn't have to view three different videos in order to figure out how to do the fix. So um, thanks so much to them and thanks so much for you. Hope it helped. Bye.